Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Robin and this is Notting Hook Crochet. So today we're going to work on making our teddy bear squares for our uh, filet teddy bear crochet blanket. And we are going to need nine squares. I chose to use the blue. I have black paper behind it so the, the white kind of hides it makes it harder to see the, the shape. So, but I used blue and pink and yellow. So I guess you could kind of call it like eh, making granny squares, but different. And so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do one of them. And then you will need to make the other eight on your own. And um, once you have one, you can use it as your map. So I found it very difficult to look at the chart and like, okay, which row am I on? And it was much easier after I made my first one to use an actual square as the chart. So that's what we're gonna do is I'll be using this for my chart. I'll show you how to do it. And then you'll be able to use your first square as a chart. So I'm using a uh, three DK yarn and um, a four and a half millimeter crochet hook. So you're going to start off, of course, with your slip knot, however it is that you choose to make your slip knot, and you're going to chain 41. Okay, so one, three, five, 37, 38, 39, 40, and 41. So in our fourth chain from the hook, not counting the loop, we're going to do a double crochet. So one, two, four, you yarn over, go through the chain, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, and then pull through two again. So you're going to do a double crochet in each chain all the way to the end of the chain. So yarn over, through the chain, through two, yarn over, through the chain, through two, two, Two. Well, let's pull through one, two, and two. So you work on yours. I will work on mine and meet back at the end. That was 36, 37, 8, and 39. So you should have 39 double crochets, including the three that we used at the turning at the end. So that was row one. Pretty basic and simple. So for row two, we are going to chain two turn our work, that counts as a double crochet, and we're going to do two double crochets. Okay, so if you were looking at a fillet map, those two double crochets count as one box. So now our second row is all these empties or blanks going across. Okay, so we're going to do chain one, skip, and then do a double crochet. And chain one, skip, do a double crochet chain one, skip, double crochet, and you're going to do this all the way across, and the end of your row, you should end, you should have three, like, double crochets like you have in the beginning. That's our side border. It'll always be three double crochets. So we're going to chain one, skip one, double crochet all the way over. You work on yours, I'll work on mine, and we will meet back here when we're done. All right, so I am to the end of my strip, I have 17 spaces or holes, blanks, I'll probably refer to them as blanks, with three double crochets at this end. I have two stitches left, so it's going to be double crochet and double crochet in the top of that turning chain, and it makes it look like that I ended with three double crochets for that border. Okay, so we're going to chain two. Our turning chain is always a chain two. We're going to make two double crochets, that's two. Now according to, put this back under here, according to my square, which is my map, I need four blank spaces. So I'm gonna chain one, skip this, and come over to the top of the double crochet and do a double crochet. Chain one, skip, come over and do a double crochet. Chain one, skip, come over, do a double crochet. Chain one, skip, and come over here and do a double crochet. So that gives me my four empty boxes or blanks. 
Now we need to do four double crochets. So the first one comes into the space, so that's one. The second one is into the top of the stitch, that's two. Three is in the space, four is at the top of the post. Now we need five blanks, so we're going to chain one, skip, and do a double crochet. Chain one, and skip, and do a double crochet, and we do that three more times. All right, so we have our five blanks, or spaces. Now we need to do four double crochets, and that's one in the blank, in the, the space, the chain space, one in the top of the stitch, one in the blank space, one in the top of the stitch. And that gave us four. Now it looks like that there is five, but this one, the very first one, belongs to this space here, because that is a chain one and a double crochet. So now we need four blank spaces. So we chain one and do a double. And chain one, do a double. Chain one, do a double. And we need one more, so chain one, do a double. Okay, so we have our four, and we're gonna end with double crochets. So one in the top of the stitch, and this was our chain two turning chain, so we wanna make sure we put that in the top of that chain two. Then it makes us have a straighter edge than doing a chain three. But if you're more comfortable with the chain three, you can do that. I just prefer the chain two. So that completed row three. I'm going to chain two, turn our work. And with this, with this chart, it's like algebra. This one is sy symmetrical. So whatever we do to the right side, we're gonna do to the left. Usually with the fillet charts, you're gonna read it, say right, left, right, left. With this one, because it is symmetrical, you do not need to worry about that. You can always go back to your right or to the left, whichever way it is that you read your charts. So we're on row four, so one, two, three, four. So we want to do first our two double crochets. We always start that way, and we need three blanks. So chain one, cr double crochet into the stitch. Chain one, double crochet into the stitch. That's two, three, okay? So now we need two, four, six, eight double crochets. So into the space, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we did our eight. Now we need three blank spaces. So chain one, double crochet. Chain one, double crochet. And one more time, chain one and double crochet. And then because we did eight over here on this side. One, two, three, four, eight. So we have three blanks over here, we need three blanks over here. So chain one and double crochet. And then chain one and double crochet. And one more time after this, chain one, double crochet. And then we need to have two double crochets to end our row that creates our border. One, two. So chain two and turn your work. <coughs> okay, so now we're on row five and on here we need four blanks. First we're going to do our two double crochets and then we're going to create four of the blank spaces by chain one and a double. Chain one and a double. You can do that four times. Okay, so we have four blank spaces. Now we need four, six, eight double crochets. One. And these solid areas that we're working, in case you can't tell, is the legs. Three, seven, and eight. Then we need one blank space. So we're going to chain one, skip, and a double crochet. And then we're going to eight double crochets, just like we did on the other side. And that makes eight. Okay, so we have four blank spaces on this side. We need four over here. We're going to chain one and skip one and do a double crochet. We're going to do that four times, and that makes four. We need to double crochets, creating our border. Then we chain two and turn our work. Okay, so we just, we've done this, this part down already. So the next row, which is one, two, row six, we need five of the blank spaces. So first we do two double crochets and we're going to make five the blank spaces. Do a chain, skip, and double. 
five times. One more. It looked like that. It's got a big thing of yarn barf. Yay. Okay. So now we've done the legs. Now we're working on the bear's torso. We need two, four, 14 crochets. So it's one. That's 12, 13, and 14. Okay. So on this side, we have five blanks. We need to have five blanks over here. So we're going to chain one, do a double. And we do that five times and then end the row to two double crochets where it looked like that you have three double crochets. Put the first one below and be a stitch like I explained before. Okay, so that's our five blank spaces. And then one, one, double, two double. On the top of your turning, chain two for this row. Okay, so we chain two and we turn our work. And this is where we are now, okay? So we got the legs, we've got this first row of the torso, and we're on row seven. And row seven has six blank spaces. So we start off with two double crochets. One, two, and then chain one, skip, and double six times so that we create six spaces, empty boxes. Okay, so I have six, and now we're gonna do 10 double crochets. Two, nine, and 10. So on this side, we have six blank spaces boxes. We need six on this side. So chain one, skip over here, and do a double. And you're going to do that six times. That's six. And we end that row with, yep, you guessed it, the two double crochets to create our little square. Okay, we chain two and turn our work. And yours should look like this now. Okay, that was row seven. Now we're starting on row eight. And in row eight, we're still working on our teddy bear's torso, but we're also gonna start adding in the tips of his arms. So to start our row, of course, we do two double crochets and two, and then we're gonna have three blank spaces. So we chain one and double, chain one and double. Now we have three. We're gonna do two double crochets one in that space and one in this top of that stitch. And then we're gonna have two of the blank spaces. Okay, so that is two. We have three, two double crochets, two blanks, and then and then ten double crochets. So one, two, three, and and ten. So then we have Two blanks, because here's our algebra. It's exactly the same as the beginning of the row. And double, chain one, double. And then two double crochets, one in the space, the stitch. And here's my yarn barf I'm working on. Okay, so then we need three blanks. Chain one and double. And chain one and double three times. We need to end our row with two double crochets. And this is how we look. So now we're going to chain two and turn our work. We're on row nine. We always start with our two doubles and, two. and we want three blanks. One. Okay, so there's our three blanks. Now we need four double crochets. So one, two is in this space and four is in this stitch. And we're going to do one blank, chain one and double crochet. Now we're going to double crochet all the way across that's 10 stitches, 10. We need one space, just like the other side. And then four double crochets, two, three, and four. Then three spaces, or blanks. That's one, three, and then we end the row with two double crochets. The second one being in the top of that chain two turning chain from the previous row. Okay, so see the arms starting to form? Now we chain two and turn our work. We start the row with two double crochets, one and two. Now we need three of the blank spaces. So it's chain one, skip the space and do a double. Okay, so now we have our three spaces. We're going to do 22 double crochets. And if you don't want to count, it ends on top of this last stitch here of the previous row. So one, two, 
Now you might hear a lawnmower in the background, I'm not sure. John is out there mowing. And our last stitch makes 22. So we're gonna have three of the boxes, three blanks, chain one and double. Chain one and double. Chain one and double. And then we end the row with two double crochets. And then we chain two and turn our work. Okay, so forming our arms, there's the torso, the legs. In the next row, of course, we start with two double crochets and we're gonna have four of the blank spaces. So chain one and double, do that four times. All right, there's our four. Now we're gonna do six double crochets. So that's one, two, and six. Now we're going to chain one, skip a stitch, make a box, do two double crochets, and chain one, skip a stitch, and do a double to form another box. This would be the bottom part of his little bow tie, or her little bow. And then we're doing six double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we're gonna end, well, we'll end with the double crochets, but we're gonna do four blanks. So chain one and double, and chain one and double four times, chain one and double. And end your row with the two double crochets, chain two, and turn your work. So this row gets five of these blanks to start off with. So first we do our two double crochets and then five of the blanks. So that's chain one and then double five times. Okay, five empty boxes. Now we do four double crochets. Can't have split yarn in there. Okay, so that's four doubles. Now we're gonna do three of the blanks or boxes, chain one and do a double, chain one, skip that stitch, come to the next one and do a double, chain one and double. So it should look like that. This is the top part of the little bow and we're gonna do four more doubles and then five of the blank, chain one, do a double, chain one, do a double, and you do that five times and end your row with the two double crochets, the second one being in the top of the chain two from the previous rows turning chain. Chain two and turn your work. So there's his little bow right there. So the next row is, we're gonna start on the head and that'd be row 13. So we need seven of the, the blanks we start our row with two double crochets, and we're gonna do seven blank spaces, chain one, and do a double. Do that seven times. Once you have your seven blanks, boxes, nothing feels natural calling it that, um, then we want six double crochets, so one in the space, one in the stitch, that's two, one in the space, that's three, one in the stitch makes four, one in the space is five, and one in the stitch is our six. So now we need, same on this side, algebra, seven of the blanks. Chain one and skip a stitch, double. Chain one, skip a stitch and do a double. You do that seven times, so you should have seven spots and then end your row with two double crochets. One and two. Chain two, turn your work. Okay, next row we're still working on his head, but we're adding a nose. So we're gonna do two double crochets to start the row. And after the two double crochets, we're doing six of these blanks here. Chain one and do a double six times. So once you have your six, you're gonna do four double crochets. That's one, 
three and four. Then we're gonna do one blank space, chain one, and skip a stitch and do a double. That's his little nose. And then do four double crochets. It's one, two, three, and four. And then we'll have six of the blank spaces on this side, keeping it symmetrical. And then you end your row with the two double crochets, chain two, and turn your work. Okay, so now we've got his little nose in there. We're gonna start this row with two double crochets, do six of the blank spaces, so just copy what you did here on the previous row. Okay, so we have our six boxes. Now we need to do, we need to do 10 all the way over to this side here, double crochets, and this is still part of his head. Uh, I think it just started to rain. Okay, so we have our 10, and it is definitely raining, so you might hear the rain on my metal roof. You might not, depends on how this camera picks it up. So then we're going to make our blanks, six of them, all the way over to here. We're duplicating that part of the previous row, and then we're going to end with, yep, two double crochets. All right, we did the six boxes. We ended with two double crochets. I've chained two, and we're turning our work. Now this next row, we're putting the little eyes in the teddy bear's head. So we start off with two double crochets, and again, we have the same amount of the blank spaces, so there's six of them. Chain one and double, okay? After you have your six blank spaces, you want to do three double crochets. So that's one, and two, and three. We're gonna make a blank space, so chain one, skip a stitch, and do a double. That is one eye. Do two double crochets, then chain one, skip one, and do a double, and do two double crochets. It should look like this. Six empty spaces, two doubles, a blank, two doubles, a blank, two doubles. And then you're going to move on to six of the blanks, which is just the chain one, skip a stitch, and double crochet. And we chain two. Well, first, after our six empty spaces, we did our two double crochets, and then we chain two and turn our work. And this row is going to start on the bear's ears, but also continue with the part of his head. So we're gonna do two double crochets and make five of the blank spaces, chain one and double. Once you get your five blank spaces, you're gonna do 14 double crochets, and that makes 14. So now we have five blanks, chain one, skip, and do the top of the double crochet, do a double. That's one and five, and then we end the row with two double crochets, chain two, and turn our work. We are almost done. We have three rows left. Okay, so start this row with two doubles and we get five, just like the previous row of the blank spaces. After your five blank spaces, you need four double crochets. So one, two, three, and four. Then we're gonna have three blank spaces chain one and skip and do a double. Chain one, skip, and this is creating the space between the little guy's ears. And once we have those, we're going four double crochets. One and two, three and four, okay? And then we have our five blank, just like the beginning of the row, and we end with two double crochets chain two, and turn our work. Now, our bear is completely formed. So the next row is two double crochets at the beginning and end, and the blank spaces in between. And if I remember my count, there's 17. That is correct, there are 17. So we start with two doubles. So we do our two doubles, we chain one, and we make our blanks our little fillet blanks. 
all the way across as long as we're not fighting split yarn. So once you've got your 17 blank spaces, fillet spaces, you're going to do the end of your row with two double crochets and then you will chain two and turn your work and the very last row is going to be double crochet all the way across and you should have 39 including your turning chain. Okay, so once you've finished that row of double crochet, you're going to have one thing left to do to this square, is we want to go all the way around the edges with a single crochet like this, okay? It's just gonna make it so much easier and uh, nicer looking when we stitch the squares together. So for what I found is if you don't have enough stitches, your work will kind of pull. If you have too many stitches when you're going down the sides of the rows, then it tends to get ruffly. So what worked for me is I would put one stitch and then the next row two, and then one stitch and the next row two. When I do my corners, I do a stitch, chain two, one more stitch, and then work down the sides. And of course the top and the bottom are easy because the stitch count is already there for you. But alternating two, one, two, one made it work out nicely for me. So what you need to do to make this baby blanket is you're gonna need nine squares. You can do them all one color, you can do nine different colors, you can do two colors, three colors, however you would like to do it. So when you get your nine squares done and have done a single crochet around each the borders of edges of each square, then you'll come back for part two to see how to assemble your squares together. And once we get that down, then we'll do part three with a border. So we will see you in the next video. Hey everyone, this is Robin from Notting Hook Crochet and we are back for part two of our filet teddy bear baby blanket. And in this part, we are stitching together our squares and I chose to use um, the flat slip stitch to seam it together and I chose to do white. I should have worked my ends in first, but I was like anxious and excited about getting to this point of this blanket. So um, I laid out my squares on how I wanted the colors to go together and then Working from the right sides, I started to stitch them together. And I can tell you that it, to me, it felt very awkward to do it this way. Um, it took me to almost the end of that first row there to feel comfortable with how I had to hold the yarn and work the stitches in. So... Well, well, let's let's just get started and I'll show you how to do it because this one won't be a long video. It's like just repeating the same thing over and over again. So you're going to make a slip knot and put it on your hook after you put your two pieces um, together. So you want to make sure that you are working on the right sides. You can tell by the way your single crochet border is. That's the right side. You can see the little, like a V there versus the back. And make sure that all the bears are facing the same direction. And this is where we are working in the sides where in the previous video, I told you that I found it um, easier to do, you know, kept it flatter and straighter to alternate two stitches, one stitch, two stitches, you know, into each row. So we're going to put our, where our right sides are facing out. So wrong sides together and see if I can do this in camera view. You're going to start, we're going to work on the inside stitches. So we're going to work, come through that inside stitch 
and then through the inside stitch on your second square. And then, where'd I put my, where did you go? There's my slip knot. All right, so your working yarn has to be behind your work for this. So we're gonna pull our slip knot through. Okay, and this needs to stay behind. Then we're gonna go to our next stitch. Like I said, this is, I found this to be very awkward. So our next stitch, we work through that back loop, come over to the other square and that back loop, find our working yarn, and pull it through all three of those loops. That's our slip stitch. Keeping that behind our work, through the back, through the back of this side, and pulling it through our work, through the back of the stitch, through the back of the stitch, grab our working yarn, and pull it through all three loops. Okay, the back loop, back loop, grab our working yarn, and pull through all three. I, like I said, I found it's very uncomfortable, but I like the look of it, so I'm suffering through it. You are welcome to join your squares in any way you see fit. So I'm starting with my vertical squares first, and then when I get those two seams, um, when I get those two seams all the way done, and I get to start working on the horizontal rows where the squares join like this, we'll just be working right over top of that. So back loop, back loop, grab your working yarn and pull through all three. Back loop, back loop, pull through all three. So you're just gonna do that to your six squares, working on two squares at a time, and then when you get to the end of this one, you'll jump over to the next two, whichever, you know, however you laid out your colors. So I'm gonna work on these, and then I'll come back when I get to my horizontal rows. Okay, so now I am to the point of doing the horizontal rows. And when you get to the, um, uh, what do you, like the intersection of crossing over the vertical rows, you just kinda step over it and work into the next stitch. And it's done, you know, it's done the same way, going into uh, the back loop of one side, and the back loop of the other side and yarn over and pull them all through. Pull it through all the loops. The key thing to remember is to keep the working yarn behind the uh, behind your uh, your um, squares there so that you know it the stitch ends up on top here. So you're going to do two rows of that. We had two rows of vertical and two rows of horizontal, and then we'll get to the border. I was originally planning on doing three videos, but this, there's just not enough to show you on this to make um, sewing them together a video on its own, so I'm gonna lump the video and the border together. So, on that note, I'm gonna finish this up, and you can finish yours up, and we will meet back for the border. Okay, so I've completed all my seams, stitching my squares together, and I'm in the process of going around the border with a half double crochet. And if you don't know what a half double crochet is, it is yarn over, through the space, pull through, and then pull through all three. And that is a half double crochet. So once I completely go around the entire blanket with a half double crochet, I can get a stitch count. And from my stitch count, I'll be able to determine how the rest of my border is gonna go and how I can space it out evenly. So this one is kind of, we're gonna make this up as we go, maybe. I have an idea in my head, but I have to see if it's gonna work. 
So go around your whole border with a half double crochet. In the corner, you'll have a stitch, chain two, and another stitch, and then keep going. It will look like that. It gives it a nice little point. And we'll be back when we get that part finished. All right, so I've made it all the way around with my half double crochet and counted my stitches. And thankfully, I came up with an odd number. Um, so the next round, I'm going to do a fillet you know, with the blank spaces, the chain one, double crochet, chain one, and in the corner, I'm putting a stitch, chain one, put another stitch, chain one, and then add another stitch. Hopefully I was in frame for you to see that. If I wasn't, that was a double, a chain one, a double, a chain one, and a double to carry us around that corner. Then we're just going to go all the way around and end the row. And I might possibly... I haven't decided yet. I'll see when I get there, do another round of this. But for now, we're going to do just one all the way around, and I will meet back up with you here when I get that finished. Okay, so I've definitely decided we're going to do a second round of the fillet blanks and then one more round um, to finish off the border. So go ahead and do your second round of the fillet and we'll meet back in this same place, same channel when we get finished. Okay, so we did the second round with the, the little fillet squares. And to finish it off, now, and I'm using pink because that's what I have the most of left, because I'm using leftover yarn. Um, we're gonna do kind of a shell. We're gonna have a single crochet. Then we're gonna come over to the next post and do a double, two doubles, three doubles, and then in the next space over here, a single. Then it's three doubles over in the next post, one, two, three, and a single. So you're going to do that all the way around. In the corners, however, to get it to go around the corner without pulling, you're going to have five. So three in each of these, three in a single, three doubles, a single, three doubles, a single, five in the corner. And I'll meet you back when I get to the end of my round. Well, finally finished. And that felt like it took forever. I'm going to stick this underneath here so you can see. Okay, there's our bear, our border, the uh, slip stitch. Um, like, it's flat. It's not raised up that we connected our squares with. I will need to block it, but that is not happening at the moment. So that's it. We did it. We made our teddy bear baby blanket and
I'm going to sign off now because my hands hurt, my neck is stiff, and it's time to take a break. So you guys have a great day, and we will see you in the next video.